So I bought my wife some camouflage lingerie, and I thought it was a pretty good idea until she put it on. I couldn't find her. Nothing is worse than playing a fucked up version of Marco Polo when you're horny. not funny, but watching a guy run around a room naked with a boner is. Uh, being in a relationship is pretty awesome, except I think every guy can agree the one thing we hate is that stupid question, how much do you love me? No good comes out of answering this. Nine out of ten times, it's something she wants us to stop somewhere on the way home and pick something up, or she wants us to stop home and fix something. The only reason why we say we love you a lot is because one out of ten time we'll get something good like sex. <laughs> Women use this line because it's like crayons for a retarded kid. It works every time. <laughs> uh, speaking of messed up things, uh, nothing's worse than your kid tattling on you to your spouse. Okay. My youngest daughter caught me she was four, she's like, Mommy said you're going to use a blue dry on my hair. I looked at her and said, No, I'm not. Mommy said you're going to. Mommy tells me to do a lot of things that I don't do. <laughs> so she runs off. He's not going to do it. Like, I'm going to waste my free time blow drying a four year old's hair. <laughs> so I'm in a bathroom blow drying a four year old's hair. <laughs> like that to make you wish you could go back to before you had kids. You'd even go back to the crappy job, right? I used to deliver pizzas. I'd say the best part about the job besides the free food was the tips. Until you came to that cheap bastard's house. <laughs> Dropped this pizza off. It was like Nike. Suddenly now a guy hands me 20. He says, keep the change. Thanks. 21 cents. And for anybody out there who says every little bit helps, I got three words for you. Eat it dick, dick. <laughs> well, that's four words. You can keep the extra dick. <laughs> speaking of being a dick, speaking of being a dick, I was in a grocery store and picked up some food in a Valentine's Day card. Checked out, was walking away, the bag boy stopped me and said, Hey, you forgot your card. And he got kind of uppity. He's like, You might not want to forget that. And I got kind of smart mouth, and I was like, yeah, because the girlfriend wanted to get the wife's card, and the wife wouldn't get anything. <laughs> His jaw kind of dropped. I was like, I'm just kidding. This is for my sister. <laughs> Gives me a blowjob job whenever I get her card. <laughs> and I walked away. I should have told him to find me on Facebook so I could see how hot she is. I love Facebook. Love comment on people's status. The only problem is I'm such a smart ass and sarcasm doesn't exactly come through when you type it. Somebody's status message might be like, having a bad day. And I'll be like, oh, did your crayon break? <laughs> uh, I'm sure somebody's grandma's reading that thinking, he needs to go to church. Now, I do go to church occasionally. I was in church one time, there's a lady in an electric wheelchair next to me. I managed not to stare at her or say any comments the whole service. Almost. This guy, most of the time I can hold my tack, I'm pretty good, but this wasn't one of those days. This guy in a electric wheelchair comes up front, he goes past her, and he stops, and he backs up, they talk for a minute, they shake hands, and he takes off. I mean, they turn to my wife, and they go, they're going to drag race for the pins. <laughs> I didn't even realize what I'd say until she started laughing. Pretty sure I'm going to hell. I'm not making fun of handicapped people, I'm making fun of old people, because they do weird, annoying stuff. Why do old people give food as a gift? <laughs> it's not even good food, it's like they're cleaning out their fridge when you stop by. Can't <laughs> hey, take these leftovers home. You look in there, it looks like it's on a verge of growing legs. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, and then sometimes they'll tell you about it. Well, there's some sardines, and some carrots, and some grapes, and there's some black olives. Why the f is there always black olives in there? There'd be something else in there. There's some unshelled walnuts. Careful, I didn't get them all peeled. Thanks. You're awesome. Old people, the reason why there's cooking segments on the news, you guys ever seen this? There's like a, like they call it quick gourmet dinners in a short time. One day they come to the host. 
And she's like, today we're going to show you how to make fish sticks. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think even the news station realized how dumb this was because they had technical difficulties and couldn't show it. <laughs> how dumb are you that you need help making fish sticks? <laughs> Set temp, place an oven, and wait. <laughs> Can't wait for the next episode. Today we're going to show you how to make chocolate milk. <laughs> They need to rename the segment Tasty Treats with Tammy the Tard. <laughs> and if the word Tard offends you, then we can't hang out because after this last story, you understand. <laughs> my wife's adopted brother Dave is Asian. Okay? When my kids were little, they would smile and their eyes would squish together. So we called it Uncle Dave Face. <laughs> We were at our parents' house one day, and we were like, hey, watch this. Do your Uncle Dave face. They did not think it was cute or funny. They told my wife it was racist. We went back, and I went to him. I was like, hey, we thought about what you said. We changed the name of the face. A little daughter comes in and is like, hey, do your Uncle Duke face. <laughs> Face isn't so racist anymore. <laughs> That's all I got. Let's bring Tater back up.